We might just get hit with the reaper. Me Millie. Cause we in the field with them bird like we play for the eagle. I'm on probation, so let me not talk what's illegal. Switch it up. Today I woke up with my drinker. She rich as a beetle. For my teachers that said I won't make it here. I spent a day with so there is one guy on the Eagles depth chart that is moving up very quickly, showing some really good things to these coaches. Playing with the first team, the first team secondary right now on defense. That man's name is Bosby. Devontae Bosby. Now I did a little research. And well, we already kind of already knew this, but Bosby uh, picked off uh, uh, Nate Sudfield, and he picked off Nick Foles, and, and broke off uh, broke up a bunch of passes from Nick Foles. Been showing that he has uh, high energy, um, exciting on the he's exciting on the field. He's he's very he's got that swagger in him. <coughs> so he's been showing the coaches a lot, and so I did some research on him. So drafted a few years ago. Undrafted free agent signs with, you know, the Kansas City Chiefs, and pretty much breaks his collarbone that year. Uh, ends up going to the Chicago, gets cut. Ends up going to the Chicago Bears. The Bears want to see; they really didn't have much tape on him, so they want to give him a chance. He makes the squad, makes the roster, ends up getting uh, cut at the end of the year. Eagles pick him up last year. So Bosby's been sitting. The whole year, learning from these guys, from these corners. Now, Howie Roseman has given Bosby a chance in the spring to show what he's got. And the Eagles front office with these coaches have shown that they have a lot of interest in Devontae Bosby. So, to be honest, maybe bringing Daryl Worley in here was a big mistake, which it was. Um, so... Devontae Bosby, wow, did not expect that man to even show up. And it's amazing because, like I said, the more competition this team has, the better it's going to be with every position. It doesn't matter what position it is. Um, so Devontae Bosby, if this guy ends up coming up to start and, I mean... <laughs> You can you can end up signing him to a you can end up signing him to a really cheap deal if you want him to get him on a starter deal you could if he ends up playing well especially in preseason and they end up he's end up being a starter they can end up signing him for a few years at a really really cheap deal because he hasn't really shown anything yet other than you know preseason and stuff like that but I'm saying um, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic over this because, like I said, guys, the competition is real. It's, it's, uh, it, it's crazy. Like, you can't have enough corners. Like, we have enough pass rushers, and there's never enough. And you always want more. But now with this secondary, Sydney, it's a young, the youngest secondary in the whole NFL, in the whole league. I have got to say, the youngest secondary. Patrick Robinson leaving, yeah, it took a little bit of a hit. But I wanted Bradham more than Patrick Robinson, 100%, definitely. Bradham's just got that shit-talking swagger, linebacker. He is just a, he was a monster on the field. His best, his best game was the Panthers game. He was all over the field that game. But Devontae Bosby, guys, t please keep an eye on this kid because he's played slot corner right now, and he is showing a lot of energy on the field, and he's making plays left and right. I, I don't know, but this is a very good sign. Um, I'm, I'm really happy to see that the Eagles are giving him a shot, and if he turns out very well, hey, he's going to be cheap. We don't have to worry about the position for a while. And holy shit, man, this secondary with a very young kid like him that is literally hungry for the competition, hungry to get a starting job that he hasn't the past two teams he's been on is absolutely fantastic. So, hey, we can't complain. That's all I got to say, guys. So, Shake's got up. Fly goes fly. Peace.